Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. I have had a few requests for this video so I thought why not do this for you guys. I recently posted a picture of my reversed French and it was done with acrylic, uh, Enel Couture's acrylic and I had a few comments that you wanted to see how I did a reverse French so I thought I would show you. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you with gel and the same steps basically apply or the same basic steps apply when using acrylic it's just a different product so i think gel is a a, a few more steps so i kind of want to show you with that and kind of thinking if i want to do an acrylic nail at the same time you guys are going okay well we'll see how it goes <laughs> You can use any product. What I used in the picture that I posted was Eternal Beige Acrylic with Chrome White. And I clear capped it with Crystal Clear and then put Shiny over top of it. And it was quite easy to do, even though it was done on myself. But I thought I would share with you, I guess a few tips and tricks, if you will, of what helped me to do a reversed French. Now, having said that, I do not have a perfect reverse French nail by any means, but that's okay. I can keep practicing until I get it to where I want it to be. So I'm going to just sort of share with you what I've learned over the past few years, just give you some pointers and, and maybe it might help you out as well. I am going to use Ugly Duck Light. I got their gel trial kit at the CNTC in Vancouver and I haven't featured it, I haven't used it or shown it to you guys yet. So I thought what a great time to showcase Ugly Duckling's gel line. So with Ugly Duckling, I am going to use their Fufu Pink because their Fufu Pink in acrylic is amazing. So this is Fufu Pink. I, I've not used this, so you will get my first impressions all in one video. <laughs> and I'm going to use white premium gel. So here's the white. So it's very, it looks like it's workable. And then I'm going to use clear premium gel. And I have tried the clear when I broke my thumbnail and I didn't want to replace acrylic. I just, I didn't want to get out the monomer and turn the fan on and, and all of that. So I went and tried out the clear. It's kind of got a blue, you, can, you can't see that. <laughs> Trust me, it's kind of got a blue hue to it. Okay, so that is what I am going to use and we're gonna flip the camera around and get started. So I have my practice hand here and I've already shaped the nail and I've buffed it as if this was the client's nail and she wants a soft coffin or a tapered square. Let's say she wants a tapered square. Now, a little tip, something that I have learned is that when I'm doing any kind of coffin or ballerina, I wanna exaggerate the shape. So I might file a little bit more than I normally would, and especially if I'm embedding my gels. So just a little tip, and then that way, when you're putting your gels on, it kind of widens out, if that makes any sense. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is do your prep and your primer. Now, I always use INM's O and L primer. I use this on everything, it works. I don't have any issues. My clients can go six weeks. I know that's not recommended, but they can. So you just wanna, you've seen me use this before, just dab it on the natural nail only. And then I'm going to take my Light Elegance Tack. This is my bonder. And I'm gonna cure for 30 seconds. So we are going to start with Foo Foo Pink. Now again, I have not used this, but it is such a pretty cover pink gel. I am gonna do just a thin layer. So this is whereabouts I want, how far up I want my nail bed to be. And I'm going to move in just like this. I will round it out a little bit later. And you wanna do this with a dry brush. You want to try to get the points right across from each other so they are even. I struggle with this, so we will see how that works. And I'm actually moving the gel in 
Okay, and I'm going to flash cure this because I don't want it to run. So then I am going to come in with some more of the cover pink and I actually want to build up the pink right here and create a wall. And I'm just floating the product. Kind of an oval, I like that oval shape. And I'm gonna clean up the sides, make sure that where my point white tip is going to be, like the white part, the tip of the white part, that makes any sense, is on this, is the same on both sides. Okay, so I'm gonna cure this and then I'm gonna show you what the wall part looks like. Okay, so you can see right here, there is a lip or a wall. You want that there. And you can see that it's, I have a little bit too much here, but that's okay, I can file it down. This is where you want the bulk of your product. Not only um, you'll see later on when we put the white on, but it's also the bulk of your product here for the stress area. So I'm gonna wipe the dispersion layer off. Then I'm going to sort of clean up my shape. Okay, and now I'm going to take the white gel. And this is where I don't, I'm not careful. I mean, I'm careful, but I'm not. <laughs> and so I'm going to put the white on the edge. I'm going to move it back here. I've never used this white before, so it's actually very nice. I do have way too much product, but hey, I like filing. <laughs> you don't have to be careful around the pink. And you can see that it's self-leveling, which is why I went and put more on than what you would normally need. Okay, I am going to cure that. So here's one great big mess. Okay, so you wipe the dispersion layer off and then that's it. You tell your clients, see you later, bye. I'm kidding. So I'm gonna take the medium one because I'm close to my client's finger and I'm just gonna kind of clean up the sides a bit. I'm doing it with a straight, like I'm not angled, my file is straight. I'm gonna take my coarse safety bit and this is from Young Nails and then you just file like you would normally. So as you are filing the white away, you're gonna, you'll see. You're gonna see that natural, really deep smile line. I like to file this way. I just found that my pressure was more consistent. All you're doing is you are filing the pink and the white down until they meet and you get that sort of perfect deep smile line. So I'm not gonna do a whole lot of um, finish filing because I do wanna put a clear top layer on. I just find I, I like the strength better. So I have a medium zebra file and I'm just going to fine tune. Okay, so I just kind of finished file off camera. I would say when you are doing your nail, check to see where the apex is, your structure. Okay, now I'm gonna cure that. Okay, so I cured that. Um, another good thing about putting a top layer of clear gel on is it covers a lot of imperfections. So while that might be an extra step, I don't know you guys, I just feel better doing it. So again, I'm going to just clean up my sidewalls with my medium file. And I'm using my 
Young Nails Safety Bit. That was easy to file, wow. Okay, so I'll take my medium file and I'll just do some finish filing. And then I'm going to take my no wipe top coat. There you go. That's how I do a reverse French with gel. Now guess what I'm gonna do? We're gonna do it in acrylic. <laughs> and just compare the two, see the difference. Why not? So this, poor hand, okay. We'll get rid of that finger for now. <laughs> Don't you wish sometimes you could just do that with your clients? <laughs> just because their fingers are so stiff, they get in the way, you just snap them off. <laughs> okay, so I've already shaped the nail and I've lightly buffed it. Now, I've seen on social media some people asking about the prep and primer and what you use first. I had that same question. I didn't know which one I should use first. So how I remembered which comes first is we always call it prep and primer. So I thought, well, I guess the prep comes first than the primer because it would go prep and primer. You get it? <laughs> so, and that's really what you use. You use your prep first and then your primer. So if you're ever confused of what to use first, just remember how everyone always says the two together. It's prep and primer. I've, I actually rarely, I don't think I've ever heard someone go primer prep, but just doesn't flow off the tongue as easy. So we're gonna use our prep. So I'm using acrylic, so I need to have my fan on. And now we will prime. Then I think I'm gonna take my number 10 acrylic brush. I love this brush. I've got my Ugly Duckling monomer and Fufu Pink Acrylic. So we are using the same colors as the gel, just in acrylic. Again, you guys, I am not an acrylic tech, but you wanted to know how I did these nails here and they are acrylic. And I'm basically gonna do the same thing as I did with the gel. Okay, so now we just let that set. So you can see that we've got height here. So another wall. And to tell if it's okay to file acrylic, that hard sound. Okay, now we've got the Ugly Duckling White. So normally I would put this much white right on top, but I did this time, but we'll just file it all down. You'll see. Okay, we're gonna let this set and then we're gonna file. Okay, it's all set. We are going to do the same type of filing.
This is just a dry wipe. I'm just getting all the dust off. And I'm gonna go in with my clear and just do a thin top layer. Okay, we're gonna let that set and then we'll file dry and now we are going to finish file. Yes, I am using a coarse file, um, but I am going very lightly and I decided not to use my e-file because I have a very thin layer of the clear acrylic on top. Okay, so I finished file, did the rest of it off camera, only because my battery is dying. Um, I'm going to take the base and top coat, which does have a dispersion layer and I'm using it on this one because I noticed that with using the no wipe, my white tip yellowed. So I wanna see if this does that. Now I know that the yellow does go away. Okay, so here are both nails that I did. This one's in gel, this one's in acrylic. Yellow in the white did go away a little bit, but not completely. I used the base and top coat for the acrylic and there was no yellowing. What I have on my nails is Shiny from E Nail Couture and I got no yellowing whatsoever. Now, I wanna see what this looks like tomorrow morning to see if it kind of goes back to a white or not, but very high shine with the no wipe top coat from Ugly Duckling. There you go, you guys. There's a reverse French in gel and a reverse French in acrylic. I have to say I found the acrylic easier, so that's how you do it. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I'll do my best to answer them. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you get notifications of when new videos are uploaded. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Elite Nails by Carrie. And that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And until the next video, we'll see you guys again soon. Bye, guys.